ARCs. My name is Abby Harris. I am a third year PhD student in the Olsman Lab at the University of California, Berkeley. Today, I'd like to tell you a little bit about a project that I've been working on recently. Um, first, I'd like to introduce you to this concept known as the oxygen paradox. That is that while we require oxygen in order to live, we need to breathe it in in order for ourselves to metabolize energy. Um, at the same time, oxygen can generate reactive oxygen species within cells that can actually damage proteins, DNA, and lipids, resulting in tissue damage. We see that this is a factor in disease states such as ischemia reperfusion injury, which can occur following ischemic stroke or myocardial infarction. We also have been exploring this recent phenomenon known as spheroptosis, where cells experience oxidative damage to lipids in their membranes, resulting in cell death. So oxidative stress tolerance is of interest to many scientists who are looking to develop therapeutics to prevent tissue damage or maybe even induce it in certain cases like cancer. This brings us to an interesting model system, the northern elephant seal, which is capable of diving for up to two hours underwater, not breathing, not taking in any oxygen, and yet when they come up for air, they experience no tissue damage or negative repercussions of sudden reoxygenation. This makes elephant seals an exciting model for studying oxidative stress tolerance because you would think that the seals have some kind of modifications or upregulated pathways that allow them to become immune to this reperfusion injury. These oxidative stress resistance mechanisms seem to hold at a cellular level as well, not just at a whole organismal level. So the cells themselves are more resistant to oxidative stress. This is evidenced by some of my initial assays in which I characterize different oxidative stress inducers. Here I have mouse fibroblasts compared to elephant seal fibroblasts treated with either erastin 2 which is an inhibitor of cysteine metabolism, which contributes to glutathione synthesis, an important antioxidant. And I have terputyl hydroperoxide, which is a direct oxidant that can induce uh, oxidation within the cell. In both cases, it looks like the elephant seals are much more resistant to cell death induced by these compounds. A future goal of this project is to actually develop these elephant seals as a model for CRISPR screening so that we could take an unbiased genetic screening approach to identify the factors and pathways that are crucial for this oxidative stress tolerance in elephant seals. Ultimately, we may be able to identify factors that are involved in oxidative stress tolerance that we can upregulate in human cells, possibly for therapeutic benefit. Thank you for listening, and I hope that I get to see you at my poster session.